I'm going to demonstrate three modifications for knee and shoulder pain. So we're going to have a resistance band and to modify this, we can basically not use our band, okay? So in this instance, we're going to do just a lateral movement away from the body, okay? That can be two lots of 10. We can then increase our uh, intensity or resistance by adding in our band, okay? So away from the body, knees are bent, shoulder width apart, and we're looking up to keep our form, chest nice and proud. Okay, so that's number one, our lateral movement away from the body. Number two, we're going to keep in the same and use the same band. Again, we can just literally, no weights, we're using our technique, so shoulders are tucked, our elbows are tucked in, shoulders and scapula, we're literally pinching the pen at the top between our scapula, so down and up. So again, with our head, we're looking up, we're keeping our chest nice and proud, and then shoulder width apart again, and we're literally pinching at the top. So shoulder, uh, elbows are tucked in, sliding all the way, we're really grabbing that scapula, and pinching in between those the scaps, okay? So all the way down, all the way up, okay? So the way just to increase that intensity is just increase the intensity. So the rep, all right? Making sure we're keeping nice, slow, controlled movements, nothing jerky. And then our last, our third exercise, we're literally going to our downward dog. So again, in position, hips pushing back. We can feel that through our hamstrings and glutes and calves and back down again. Okay, now to regress that, we can drop our knees, knees up into downward dog, back down again, drop the knees up. Push our hips right back, shoulder width apart, feet shoulder width apart, and we're just nice and easy at our own pace. And we must maintain our breath throughout each exercise. That concludes our third three exercises for modifications for knee and shoulder pain.